Hi, today we're going to work with a, a neon glow effect for uh, some type. Um, this is something you might want to do from time to time. Uh, it gives the type a cool look. Uh, it also can make it stand out against a, a background, like if you have a busy background and you're having trouble making it, your type look readable. Putting a glow around it is a good way to, uh, to get a nice effect. Um, anyway, let's talk about how we might do that. There are different effects you can apply in Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, all kinds of programs and plugins and things to, to give you different types of effects. However, I prefer to do, whenever I can, the effect by doing it step by step um, for two reasons. One is I have a lot more control over the exact way my graphic is going to look. And two, when you use different tools and different uh, apply them in different ways, you learn more about the, the drawing program, which is a good thing. The more you learn, the more techniques you're familiar with, the better chance when a customer asks you to uh, create something for him, there's a better chance that you will be able to give him exactly what he wants, the more familiar you are with the program. So we're going to create our glow step by step. Um, and uh, the first step is I'm going to copy this word glow. I picked kind of a fun font for this. So I'm going to copy this to my clipboard, paste it. So now it's pasted right on top of itself. And I'll turn the top one black. I'm showing my color palettes over here. And I'll send it to the back behind the red. And now I'm going to give, I'm still on the black one here. I'm going to give it a, an outline, not a contour, I'm going to give it an outline. And the reason I'm going to give it an outline rather than a contour is because with an outline I can select this uh, option here, round corners, so I won't have any sharp edges on my outline. Um, behind fill, I don't have to worry about scale with image for this. And I'll give it a uh, big outline. I'm going to make it 45 points. We'll see how that looks. Okay, so it's a big significant outline. Now, I've got my black with black outline behind the red. So for now I'm going to work on the black. First thing I'm going to do is come over here to my 50% black and I'll change it to a 50%. And then I'll go up here. I'm showing all my tools here bitmaps, convert to bitmap, grayscale, and uh, use an appropriate resolution. I'm making it low res, so it's 96. Grayscale, um, convert, and now this is a bitmap, not a vector. And I'll go back up to bitmaps, and I'm going to give it a blur. See right here? And this is called a Gaussian blur, which will bl blur it in all directions by a certain specific number of pixels. And we'll... Uh, We'll go, I don't know, we'll go 14 pixels and you can see what it's going to look like by hitting preview. And that looks about what I had in mind. If you want more of a glow, you would blur it more. If you want less of a glow, you would blur it less, obviously. So uh, I'm going to stick with that for now. now I'm going to go back here for a third time to bitmaps. Mode, see right here? This is where I'm going to change it to a black and white, a one bit. And I'm going to choose line art on this uh, menu here. Adjust my threshold so that it looks the same in the preview as it looks on the final. And now you see it turns black. And uh, a one bit basically um, means the background is one color and the image is another color. So you can only pick from two colors. And now at this point, using my right click mouse button, I can lighten the glow, darken it or I can change it to a color, whatever color I like. And then I can change my type to whatever color I like. And this is where you can have fun. You can change each one to its own color and see, how, see what looks best. Now I'm going to put this against a black background. And now we have this white rectangle. And what that is is my 
monochrome bitmap. It's the background. As I said earlier, a, a monochrome bitmap can be one color for the background, one color for the object, so you can pick from two colors. Um, in this case, I don't want any color for the background, so I'm going to go up here to No Fill, and I'm going to left click it. On, on, a, on a monochrome, your left mouse click is going to be your background, and your right mouse click is going to be your object. I always thought that was backwards, but I didn't write the software, so we'll just get rid of our background, and then we can have fun with this by changing the colors to whatever we like. And once we get it the way we want it to look, you may or may not want to do one last step to give it a little bit more punch. Depending on the effect you want to achieve, you might want to give that text a black outline. And I'll do it at, uh, let's see, what will I do? Nine points, I guess. Round the corners once again because it's a round looking type. Behind fill. And we'll click scale with image. And that might give it a little bit more of a punch. Uh, you may or may not want to do this, depending on, like I said, the effect you're trying to get. Um, but now you can see there are a hundred different things you can do with this now that we've created it. And uh, you can always give it more of a glow. You'd have to go back to your outline to do that. Uh, you can give it less of a glow, depending, once again, upon what you're trying to do. So have fun with this. Experiment with it. It's a technique I think you'll use often. And I hope your next project goes well.